in the wake of heavy spraying. We had 12 straight weeks of what the Centers for Disease Control called an epidemic of influenza-like illness and pneumonia, an epidemic in terms of death rates. England saw 8,200 people die in three weeks, mostly the elderly. This year, we looked at 19 of 20 weeks, epidemic levels, influenza-like illness, double pneumonia, and death. The CBC called it the flu. Most of the media we received called it the flu. I'm here tonight to tell you it was not the flu. In fact, many doctors were echoing the words of one nurse supervisor who said, I don't think anyone knows what's causing this sickness. Doctors were saying this to the New York Times. And unlike flu that takes time to spread through a population, these illnesses were appearing virtually overnight in neighborhoods, communities, and cities, swamping hospital wards. And what the media never remarked on was that the incident of heavy spray, the characteristic excess, the gel falling on parked cars and windshields and buildings, took place always at the same time and within 24 to 48 hours, we saw these outbreaks of illness. And yes, some of it was the flu, but very little of it was influenza. The medical director for the Via Christi Regional Medical Center said, he told reporters, this thing kills even healthy people in four to five days, and I have a stack of emails of aunts and uncles and family members who suddenly contracted pneumonia although in good health and were dead within a week. But when the WHO and the National Respiratory and Enteric Virus Surveillance Lab tested more than 18,000 people since last October, they found that 13% tested positive for influenza, the national average during the epidemic. In some areas, peak, they tested 33% positive. Again, the national average is down around 13%. Reporters asked the CDC, what is this? And they said, this illness could be due to some other pathogen. When I looked at the heavy spray days by city, I again got an exact correlation. But folks were way beyond coincidence here. Across the United States, I ran into meningitis outbreaks in the wake of this strain. This is, has been a rare inflammation of the brain and spinal cord. It comes on with flu-like symptoms, a skin rash, a stiff neck, severe headaches. You know, we're still running into those symptoms after heavy spray days in schools and communities across North America. In Bell River, just outside of Windsor, there were three cases and one death among 3,000 people, and they vaccinated everyone. Multiple sclerosis started showing up. Chronic fatigue has been a major component linked to the spraying, as well as lupus outbreaks in the wake of heavy spraying. Society is structured to keep us busy, 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 moving, moving, moving. Oh, mortgage, oh my God, rent, oh my God, job, oh my God, what's happening? What's the credit crunch? Oh my God, food prices. So no one goes, ah, oh, so that's what's going on, just too busy. Uh, trying to survive, that's the idea. And it starts with the kids now, younger and younger. Oh, you've got to pass this exam, you've got to pass this exam. Oh my God, what will happen? Oh, you've got to get good grades, oh my God. Hey, perhaps have some bloody fun. Have a bloody laugh, mate. We should have happy lessons. What makes you happy? Okay, we're going to do that today. What makes you fulfilled? What makes you feel good about yourself? We're going to do that today. No, algebra, algebra. What the bloody hell is all that about? I could never work it out. I never tried, really. What does X equal? Couldn't give a shit, mate. Whatever you say, ain't bothered. I've lived 56 years, right? I've never used bloody algebra. I've never... 
never entered my mind. Yeah, that one, delete file. So we have this world of apparent confusion because of the way that it operates. We turn out shite that we don't know what to do with. We, we reach a, a, a level where we can create amazing technology and we use that technology to um, pepper bomb cities full of civilians. And you know, we've at the cutting edge of evolution. We can kill more people in one goal than ever before. Hey! And it's great to be human. And this is what we do in the name of freedom. We think it's okay for children to sign their names on bombs which end up on children just like them in the Lebanon. But we don't want to talk about that. Hey, here's a game show. Watch this. Shut up. Hey, honey, quick. Here, she's going for the car. Quicker the bloody better, I say. People around the world get bigger while people die because they've got enough, enough to eat. Massive amounts of food available, thrown away, while others, I, I, I've seen this live once, it's unbelievable. People living off rubbish tips to survive. But we don't want to talk about this. No! Hey! Hey, quick, honey! There's a, there's a picture of Paris Hilton naked in the back of a car. Quick! Was that the car that lady just went for? Watch this! Shut up! Don't let's talk about this and get more moral about it. Let's talk about Janet Jackson's breast at the Super Bowl. Hey! The moral fiber of America is collapsing. Oh, no, 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 that's the moral. This is, this, this is fighting for pieces. It's just collateral damage. Don't worry about it. As Gandhi said, what difference does it make to the dead, the orphans, and the homeless, whether the mad destruction is wrought under the name of totalitarianism or the holy name of liberty or democracy? None whatsoever. They're all tyrannies when they do that. Then we have the money. What you do is you go to the bank and you borrow money that has never, does not, and will never exist called credit, and then you, you mortgage your house to it, you mortgage your car to it, your land to it, your business to it, and if you don't pay back money that doesn't exist called credit, then the people that have lent you that non-existent money get your car and your business and your house. Yes, that makes sense. And this money scam, where they get us into debt by borrowing money that has never, does not, will never exist, is in the very DNA of society. It controls choice controls maneuverability, or if we allow it to, controls society. And who controls money, controls society. Who controls money? A tiny few people.